What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I have not been uploading to my channel recently because I've been waiting for Black Ops 3. I have decided that from now on, my channel is a zombie channel. I don't enjoy playing FIFA, it's shit, right? Just getting this quick rant out of the way before we start. Random games, I don't really enjoy playing them. You know, it's just, I just don't want to do it anymore. So, no matter what, this channel is now going to be a zombies channel for tips, top fives, and all good stuff like that. Challenges, all that kind of stuff. Live streams on a Friday, without a doubt, will be happening. So, today, I'm going to be telling you how to survive on the giant. Basically, how to get to a decent round, one that you're kind of proud of. Solo forward slash multiplayer to start things off i'm gonna say that this video took me 45 minutes to record that's how far i got solo doing my technique at the end i just kind of gave up and you'll see the mad clutch so stay around for that this may seem quite bloody obvious but you need to have your pistol maxed kind of thing you need to be using it to its full potential in them first few rounds because if you don't move before them first few rounds you're pretty much dead all right that's just a basic rule now what you want to be doing is putting five shots into their belly forward slash dick all right it's just basic it's just basic put five shots in there knife round two five shots in there knife okay that is what you need to be doing if you get a max sandwich keep on going Round three might be getting a little bit too hard to be doing this kind of thing. So my my aim is by round three, get that first door open and then get that shotgun on the wall. All right, that has to be one of the most OP shotguns I've ever played with. I think 750 coins or around that. It is madness. I got custom camos on it because I just use it all the time. I... It's unbelievable. You'll see it till the end of this video. I'm not even lying, okay? So once you have that shotgun, it's just one shot kills, one shot kills, one shot kills. If you keep on racking up them points, then by round four, so as the round four kind of starts, don't really want to be doing too much mid-round. So do it before ra round four kind of starts, the kind of new, 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 kind of that kind of thing. I I'm absolutely horrendous at sound effects, but... What you want to be doing is kind of that middle between them, move on to the next station and then move up and then down and then turn the power on. Only because you're safe down there, you've got kind of a wide, wide view, your back's covered. Inside it's kind of difficult because you can't really move anywhere if you get cornered, you're kind of fucked, I'll be honest with you. Whereas outside, if you get cornered, you can quickly dart to the left, dart to the right, you know, it's... It's basics, kind of things in zombies. Obviously, this tutorial is for kind of the newbies, the people who haven't played zombies, and or even the people who just haven't played Giant, because it is a completely different map to anything Treyarch have done. Anyways, once you have your shotgun, you know, you want to be looking around thinking, bloody hell, where's the box at? For my case, it was right behind me. Bam! I knew where I was, okay? I knew what I needed to do. So my plan of action in my head is I'm safest with my back to that wall. Because when you're training, you don't have that extra place where the zombies can come in. So what you want to be doing is getting the right teleporter done and the left teleporter done if you're facing in like towards the mainframe from the back of that little area. You want to be getting the right one and the left one. I'd say do the left one first as it's cheapest, maybe wait a few rounds and then kind of do the right one as well what i like to also do with my shotguns and pistols is try and keep a full mag in there because if say uh, max ammo came along then you've already got a clip ready so you're not wasting extra ammo reloading when you have a secondary gun which you can be using so i get the teleporters done that's simple all right the training truly does begin. You don't want to be just standing still going bang, 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 bang. You want to be training constantly, really. Um, even if you're on a low round, zombies are kind of slower. They're not as fast and there's less of them. You still should be kind of training if you get into them tight situations. With training in that area, you need to be making sure that you're safe. That box area is a no-go. And here's why. 
Yep. Oh, that shit happened. Alright, just don't go there. Just don't do it. In this gameplay, funnily enough, right, I've wanted the Wonder Waffle G DG2, right, the whole time I've been playing the Giant. I played it for seven hours straight last night. Seven hours. Didn't get it once. Bloody first game I get in, record it, bam, DG2. Wish my pack luck was that good. No, or else I'd have still been doing FIFA, but nah, it's not that good, is it? You're now thinking to yourself, right, I got a Wonder Waffle. All right, I got a shotgun. All right, this is pretty good. All right. Pack of punches open. Now it's just point whoring. Run around. That that little area. Just run around. The zombies coming towards you. You need to plan ahead. You need to see that danger. Bam. Shot him. Done. Right. I can carry on running around. Keep on doing that. Once you've got a big circle of them, DG to it. Just absolutely ruin them. Alright. Same with any other weapon you have. Maybe like a war machine or something like that. Just spray. Get them all down. Once you have that all set up. You got your perks, you've upgraded maybe your shotgun, right, like I had. I had shot up, upgraded that shotgun three times I upgraded that actually, to be fair. Three times and the Wonder Waffle once. So now it's all about consistency. You've got your setup, you know, you're feeling good, you're going, yeah, I've got my shotguns, I've got my DG2, I've got my perks. Now I just need consistency. Now you need to understand you can't get angry at zombies. <laughs> You can be annoyed that you went down, but the moment that you get angry, it's the moment you start making mistakes. I could have got angry when I went down, but I didn't. You need to be thinking to yourself, right, just calm. You're going to go up to the top. Every time I went down, I went up to the top because I know I had a strong enough weapon that I could just hold them back there. It's not, I wouldn't say camp there. If, if you're solo, then, you know, you just don't. Just don't camp there solo. Just need to train solo. After you've handled the horde, everything like that, go get your perks, all right? Don't do it mid-round. That's where people fail. That's where... Because you've got no quick revive. If you go down trying to go get Jug, bam, dead. Done. Challenge over. You know, your, your solo challenge, done. It's, it's finished. It's finito, okay? It's done. So, as you can tell, I did go down a few times. It, it, it was just annoying. Like, it just was... But I didn't react, I just kept stay calm. And by the end, I thought to myself, right, I've got Juggernaut. That is it. I've got nothing. I thought to myself, right, let's do a final stand in the Cod World at War tunnels. So I thought to myself, right, get down there. Look at this clutch. Oh, wasn't that sick? It's a bloody awesome. Like, that was unbelievable. That's probably the best clutch up. Oh, okay. Also, if you could share it with your friends, as I'm a small channel, I want to grow. And I want to try and get a miniature community of us together, zombie players. You can suggest to me what you want to see in the next videos. Maybe uh, how to survive on Shadows of Evil. Fuck knows how you're going to fucking survive on there. But I'll try my best if you want me to do that. Hit me up on Twitter or anything. Just try and... Try and all of us just get together and make a community, eh? Alright, anyways guys, if you enjoyed that video, please like, subscribe, and peace.